Hey everybody, so check this out, I'm vlogging through my mirror. How cool am I? Anyways, I'm leaving for Spain in nine days and I'm getting kind of nervous. So today it's raining so I figured that it would be a good day to pack. So check this out. Come over here. I have to fit all of this and that little bit up there into that and that. And I'm getting nervous. How is this all going to fit? The CEA handbook said that I should make a pile of all the stuff that I want to bring and then I have to cut it in half and leave half of it behind. And I don't think I can do that. I need to bring all of this. So I'm going to go try and pack it up and then I will come back and show you how much of it fit. Okay, so I'm studying abroad from August until December. So that's four months and it's going to be summertime, then the fall, and then like the beginning of winter. So I have to pack like everything. And um, I don't know where to start. So uh, here's what I have. Boots, slippers, flippin' floppin' flippy flops, sneakers. So we have piles of individual categories of things that I need. So first, we have the winter shirts, then the pajamas, nice outfits, summer shirts, Oh my god, this stupid camera. Ugh, okay. Shorts and skirts. Bathing suits. Socks. Pants. And underwear. So now I'm going to try and fit it all into my suitcase. I'll be back. And then I'll be taking this carry-on and putting it inside of this carry-on because you're allowed to have a suitcase as a carry-on like as long as it's smaller than certain dimensions. So I'll have like my ginormous suitcase with palm trees on it that I will check in and put under the plane. And then this one that I'll bring with me. And in this suitcase I packed just like a pair of extra clothes and a bathing suit and stuff because in case they lose my real luggage, then I'll still have one day's clothes until hopefully it gets recovered. And since I'm going to the beach right away, I'm not going to school. I'm going in a month early to stay with my host family. I'm bringing sunglasses, suntan lotion. Pretty much all my valuables are in this bag because they will be with me and won't be going through customs and stuff. I have my laptop. I have my iPod dock thing that plays music, all of my jewelry, my retainer and stuff in there. And I also brought, uh, well it's not really that cool, I brought a pillow and I have that stuffed up there like a teeny tiny pillow. So then I can sleep on the plane maybe. Oh and I forgot to mention that I packed a winter coat. It's like an all purpose windbreaker type thing because I don't know where I'm going to be going and iPod charger then I have my books and paper and stuff um, a highlighter and a pencil sharpener that I gotta fit somewhere and in here I just have like this is all my makeup blah 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 lip gloss yada 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 nail clippers, tweezers, etc. I brought some nail polish. I brought some ibuprofen. Good idea. I bought one razor because I figured that I can go shopping when I get there. And just like small toothpaste and stuff, shampoo. Because I'll go shopping for that stuff when I get over there. And then over here is my hairbrush. These are electric outlet converters. They look really funky. 
I guess that's what the plug looks like in Spain. But that's what we plug into the wall. So that'll be for my computer and stuff. Um, deodorant, you know, just like pretend you're going on a sleepover, but bring band-aids. I brought sleep right or breathe right strips in case I get a cold. I don't know. Think outside of the box. Think outside of the suitcase. I packed my day of the flight outfit in advance. So that makes more room in my suitcase because I'm wearing my sneakers and some underwear and one of the biggest shirts that I have. A really big shirt that's comfortable and some stretchy pants because you have to make sure that the clothes that you're wearing on the plane are really comfortable otherwise you're just gonna be like ugh. Happy socks because we're happy to go study abroad. Yay! And a hoodie. So that makes lots of room in my suitcase. I'm also bringing one more hoodie which is right there. It's my other favorite hoodie. So I figured that'll be good luck. And it will keep me warm. So into the suitcase it goes. Look, I actually may fit everything. Got all of my underwear and stuff and socks and whatchamacallits up there. I just have to fit that stuff. It's totally gonna work. Oh my god, I'm so excited. A look inside of my carry-on bag. I am bringing and I would strongly recommend that you also bring if you are going on a long flight. Nice, big, thick, comfy socks so you can sleep and be warm. This is a part from my camera that I don't want to get damaged so I'm just gonna put it in there. Um, a journal. But anyway, I have addresses of people that I'm mailing postcards to and important phone numbers for when I get abroad and if I get lost and stuff. Um, also bringing another camera because this one that I'm using now only takes video and doesn't take flash pictures and stuff. My wallet which has like my student ID, my credit card, stuff like that, my medicine. Um, a book that my mom gave me for my birthday that she thinks is like the best book ever so I have to read it. Hmm, what will I pull out next? A kitty cat hairbrush from like a zillion years ago, but it still works. Ooh, I think that's everything. Oh wait, no. Here we have, oh, I put headphones, my headphones and stuff in there. I don't want them to get messed up, so I just put them in that pouch. I have a watch, so I know what time it is because I'm not bringing my cell phone. Because it's so expensive gum for takeoff and landing. I'm one of those people that choose gum because my ears hurt with the pressure. Oh, earplugs for attempts at sleeping on the plane. And most importantly, my iPod. Very important. Gotta update it before I leave. Oh, one more thing. I already took this out. Um, Rick Stevens Spanish phrase book and dictionary. This thing is amazing. I plan to study it on the flight. Has like phrases like under categories like taking a bus or like what's cooking. Like, I don't know. I'm totally gonna study this. Oh my gosh, a naked person. All right, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna study that on the plane. Brought a pen. Um, Nothing's in here. And I'm also going to be bringing my passport. And uh, that's all. And guess what? It all fits. So I didn't even have to separate my pile in half. So the key to fitting a ton of stuff in your suitcase is to roll it up just like that in tiny little, they look like tacos, kind of. Roll it up really good. 